Hello and welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my very interesting co-anchors with me, Ife Oluwa Oshunke and Ife Omai. What's good? Hello. How are you guys doing? I'm great. Mm. Yellow, yellow. What's mm. 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 up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. As the federal government is saddled with the seeming erroneous task of keeping the country safe from COVID-19 and hunger, Rugged Man highlights six things the FG can do for Nigerians at this time. Number one, he says provide electricity. Number two, suspend electricity billing for the months of the lockdown. Three, deploy one or two police pickups to stay permanently at areas with the highest crime rates. Four, use NEPA database to share relief packages because every house gets monthly bills. Five, immediate and public prosecution should be taken against parties not sharing relief packages like they are supposed to. And finally, Anybody caught embezzling funds needed to fight COVID-19 should be treated as an enemy of the state and charged with treason. Well, good man. So the, mm -hmm. Okay, no, go on. I listen, so the person that's supposed to do, like, um, so they're supposed to arrest themselves. Is that what's happening? Because they're saying he's, he's supposed to treat that person like, you know, enemy of the enemy state. state. So do, I, do they treat themselves as the enemy of the state? Because I feel like the people that are supposed mm. to be the <laughs> ones... There are good people in government. And they, are also, so. they also have the power to, be, to hold others accountable. I don't know. I don't know. I, <sighs> well, I don't for know. me, from everything he has said, let's pick the ones that concern us, which is one power. Right. Yes, please give us power. We want to be in the house the and not have to... very good, though. In, in your, your area. Fine. Yeah. In your area. Very, very good. In your area. Yeah, like I have like... like if you're in your area is... The anyway, area. please, I'm speaking for the masses and people that live in areas Not like push I do. Boys. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so please, we need constant electricity. We need constant power. And secondly, I saw that the reps um, proposed... Um, I think um, not having, for us not to pay um, NEPA bills for about two months, that's still being discussed. However, I want to tell them now to remember us that you prepared. Because mm. even if you don't send bill to people, our own, once it's red, there won't be light. So mm. please, when you, are, when you finally decide to give us free power, kindly remember we that are isn't prepared that's so the that there that. will be a way to make sure that we are not paying and then secondly what else okay i like that he said um nepa has um the database of everybody yes so what we've mentioned bvn and they say i think they're saying just about if i'm not mistaken so now 40 million okay. mm. or thereabouts um people have got bvn mm -hmm. so compared to 200 million that is not enough but nepa which is almost everywhere so yeah. that's a database they can start um, harnessing to make sure the um, relief package gets to people that's Please, my own i have a problem with that my relief package is my credit alert bam, bam. Mm. that's what i want to get i'll pay my nepo bill myself just give me the money mm -mm. yes Please, by all means. That's Come on, what, isn't that just help indirectly? Because then you still have to use your money to pay for everything. Yeah, but no, the relief package. Now, a lot of people can do without lights, but a lot of people can do without food. And people need to feed this period. A lot of people are hungry. It's not about electricity. If I have electricity at home and I don't have But from food, what I got, I don't think he was saying that we should that they should give us more. I thought he was saying that you should use the database of NEPA to send relief For the packages. relief packages. Yeah, that I don't is. think he was actually, about, um, in this particular um, text, I don't think he was actually saying that um, we need more power. Oh, no, no, he, for his that's number saying, one, that's, that's what number. he said, we need more power more and power. then subsidize it All by right. not having us pay for two months right. or for the months we have to stay in the house and then relief packages and all. You, a power might not be an issue for you, but for so many it is because there are still companies that are working or are still running and they, they, no, I'm also speaking they are for probably... The you are not speaking for the masses. So they are probably I'm running. For the masses. Hold on, let me explain. So they are probably still running and they are not getting um, the level of um, 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 services they used to render before. But they still have to pay the same amount of NEPA bill. So the fact that you need power to do that business is one vital thing. If that can be taken away, I was even watching Waze on Plus TV Africa over the weekend when um, they had um, an entrepreneur who was talking about the issues they have, especially those with loans from the bank having to service their loans. You have SMEs also having to pay their rent in this situation. And it's not all business that is still running right now. For the ones that are running, they still have to use almost the same amount of power to make sure they are running and also 
power is a huge deal for a lot of SMEs that are still running right I now. I know, but I'm talking about the people that do not even have businesses, the people that are at home. I'm speaking to you. You don't have masses. fridge. Right now. You are, what food do you want to give them and how are they going to manage that? Do you, like, do you okay. know it's not everybody that has fridge in Yeah, their but homes, not everybody but has everything. Like, there's not, there's yeah, not, it's so not everyone that doesn't that, look, have... Power is very important as well, especially now that we're doing the e-education thing. Right. Because um, somebody called um, Plus TV Africa yesterday and the person was reacting to what the Commissioner of Education was talking about, the e-education. I was saying that, okay, I saw you talking on, on e-education as well. And you're saying that, were these teachers, are these teachers even trained to do the e-education thing? A lot of people are not and, trained. Even and then words. what the um, person we called in was complaining about was that, Power supply is one major problem that you're talking about e-education and there's no power. Do you understand? Like, how do you expect the children to learn if there's so no what power are you, supply? What are you for if that we, should, we need power? Or we no, need I'm power? saying we need, no, 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 for real. I'm saying we need power, no. I oh, was, but you personally don't. Yeah, I personally, because my you push power supply has been okay, really, you're proud. Don't is, need is, power. Is, is, it's been you amazing. Don't need I'm not no, saying I don't. It's been amazing, been, but he doesn't, okay, let's doesn't just get it from my stick. <laughs> no, it's been amazing. Does, like, right now, I'm saying right now, I'm not being affected by power supply. It's just my own personal needs um circumstance i, right I hear what rugged man is trying to say and i think it kind of helps different types of people um you know not everyone has a fridge but that doesn't mean that you can't use their nipper whatever else to build them i feel like it's a lot it's very inclusive sort of um unfortunately i, I feel like it doesn't really matter if they're if he's not if he doesn't have the power to legitimize this then we're just all like talking and to be honest with you i'm kind of over talking um Another two weeks is too real to just be having conversations on social media. Mm. So for me, I didn't really spend much time on this. It was, I, 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 like I said, except I'm seeing ways that he's actually implementing this, then we'll just be doing what we've been doing since, just like talking. Yeah, which is not, people were really disappointed at the speech um, for the president on yeah. Monday because they expected solutions, not yeah. coming to say we are talking planning, about incentives. We are going, you, are, you know, adding one million to two point five million. In, I mean. It was just weird, but um, moving on, if you want to join this conversation or you have an opinion to share, kindly do that via WhatsApp. Um, send them to 090-6000-5719. 090-6000-5719. Now moving on, DJ Khalid reacts after being dragged for his grey quarantine hair. In a recent picture, which also featured his wife and sons, his hair and beard noticeably grew longer and even turned grey. He captioned it, I need a haircut, LOL. He has since become the centre of memes he's um he's responded saying i will get haircuts i will figure it out soon quarantine alert um um i'll get okay basically he's going to get a haircut that he needs his beard oil as well meanwhile tama braxton commented saying don't worry about it bro it's the people who aren't really quarantined who is talking those of us who has been who has been looks just like you and me our family loves us anyway and right now that's what matters um peace yeah i've never really seen this happen in the news where there is like gray shaming usually it's the women that are not allowed to age who are allowed to well, uh, boobs are supposed to be perky faces are is it supposed to be shaming they're giving it a name nah, 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 well i mean nah. it is it is what it, it is about aging if he if he didn't have the gray hair he would just look unkept and well we've never seen him with the gray thank hair thank you i was gonna say it's because he also um, is a lot more conscious about his, his gray hair. Yeah, and I think it's okay to have that. In an industry where it's like predominantly youthful, you want to look, you know. He's um, 44. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, but you see, the thing is, there's other people that are in the industry that are respected, that have gray hair. I'm thinking of Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre has like a lot of gray Diddy hair. Diddy is now with a gray hair yeah. as well. But I mean, yeah. I think this grey hair became prominent during this period as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and yeah. then people them, liked it, and then they left it. Mm. Did you leave? Or you didn't have a choice. He doesn't have a choice. Now. He's in no, same no, no. Shoe it's it's still well Khaled. trimmed, but it just didn't dye the grey hair and all of that. Oh, he's been dyeing it. Yeah, he's been dyeing it. Of course, dying. I think all, like yeah. even um, Kylie's like face is very. Mm, very, you can see that he does a lot of work to it, the lines and everything. Mm -hmm. So, like, the difference is much, but mm -hmm. I don't see why he needs to be explaining 
a lot of things. He's catching fun with it as well. He's yeah. not taking it to heart. Then. And I like um, Tamar Braxton um, response to it because a lot of people that are actually quarantined, like I had to go do home service to get my hair cut because I didn't like the way oh, I was you guys doing. sanitized his what? hand. He sanitized everything. No, I gave him everything, gloves, his sanitizer, oh, okay, everything. Cool. So it was a safe space. So um, a the lot of people... Come arrest your baba. How did he leave his house? You're exposing it leaves in my estate. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you didn't have to leave. <laughs> All right, so um, like I was saying, a lot of people that are actually quarantined right now are not thinking about their looks. They're just thinking about survival. And um, like Tamara Tam Braxton said, it's about family right now. As long as your family loves you, the way you look, that's all that matters. So, I, I, like you said, I don't know why he's explaining to people, but because people are used to him seeing all trimmed up and all fly and all that. But right now, nobody is really concerned about looking fly because, man, we could all go at any time, you know? So, do I want to look fly to go to heaven? <laughs> See, time returns right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's how they look myself. Minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like. <laughs> 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 Tom Hanks and wife Rita Wilson donate blood for COVID-19 vaccine study. They are taking part in a medical study to help researchers develop a vaccine in the fight against COVID-19. The couple were hospitalized with the virus while in Australia in mid-March 2020, but they have since made full recovery and returned to their Los Angeles home. Um, quote, We've been, we have recently been part of a research study and we have donated our blood and we're waiting to hear back if our antibodies will be helpful in developing a vaccine, but also if we are able to donate plasma that can be used as a donation to other people who are suffering from the virus because we are immune, end of quote. And that's um, Rita Wilson's statement to CBS Morning. I think this is um, very commendable and it's very important as well because um, the studies on um, COVID-19 keeps growing daily. Like um, there was a time when it was three feet that it could travel. Now they're saying it moves about 13 feet or they're about, mm. uh, I don't know if you saw that as yeah. well. So the studies are growing daily. And then if you look at Tom Hanks and his wife's case, um, the symptoms were different. She lost a sense of smell, a sense of um, taste during um, um, during the period when they were infected but um so with that variation in symptoms and the way people react to the virus then i think it's very important that um they donate blood samples and plasma for the sure research to be survive. robust yes yeah. yeah. so for I'm, them to I'm, have i'm very opinions. confused with this story because um china was saying how they've had people who have been cured from the virus, getting the virus again. Mm -hmm. So when she said that she was immune, I was just like, uh, is that a thing? Like, <laughs> no are you immune? Because immune, 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 I think immune, she's trying to say that because I've had it before, like like I polio or chicken again. pox, like I'm immune to chicken pox because I've had chicken pox before. Oh. So she's saying that she's immune to coronavirus because she's had it before. But I don't know how legit that is because the same people who have had it before and have gotten it again. And I think there's actually cases, not only in China, in America, of a bus driver who, who got the coronavirus, got cured and then went back to work and then got it again. Mm -hmm. um, so I, 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 I don't know how legit that story is, except maybe in her system. I don't know. In her system, she's not immune. Maybe they detected the plasma that makes uh, her immune. Sure. You know? Okay. <laughs> so I'm just really, really confused about um, there's too many information. I remember, um, what's her name? Cardi B was on, the, she first started saying it in the wrong way and then her feedback to the backlash was just like spot on where she was saying that there's too many theories 
coming out of this and we don't know like you're saying we're asymptomatic you're saying we're not asymptomatic you can no, get the immune. test yeah you can get the test if you're not showing you have to get like it's just really confusing but i think the gist of it is that they're trying to help um the you know i guess the world really in in trying to move forward from this and that's that's a, a an applause but i i feel like they need to especially with them what's his name idris elba like i've been following that man he hasn't coughed he hasn't sneezed he doesn't <laughs> have any like how do you know he hasn't coughed well not on sneeze. camera at least like <laughs> even the people that have had it they'll show you i think all, we need his own know, blood right I, yes i need to i i feel like you, that, and that's my problem with celebrities like it's none of my business what you do quote unquote but um if you start something i really like that you keep up with that um you know update and stuff they person i know that does that is tyler perry like if he comes out to say any gist he's like okay he this is what's happening now this is what's happening now and i feel like they need to start doing that okay you came out to us you have coronavirus how is that going for you your wife also had coronavirus thank you like mm -hmm. what are your symptoms why is it that you're not showing any symptoms you have not gone to the hospital he's and other busy people on instagram are live talking about shoes with ay so i don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so how do you say stay at home in your language? How do you say stay at home in your language? Check this out. Hello, my name is Blessing Ozero and I'm from Delta State, Isoko South. Kereo, Kereo Zazora, Yule. Ekro Aleo, Uruko Mini Kemi Oyedile, that is Sen State Oyo, Eduro Sile Kede Walabu. Hi, my name is Fiona Kamikazi. I am from Rwanda. Please stay home and save lives. Gumamrugo Rindu Uzima. Hi, my name is Tony from Kenya. Something I'd like to tell you, Ikaramoshie. Thank you. Stay safe. Nilin Saju Mfrukamru. Nunumumumdama. Ka Nyumbani. Ka Nyumbani. I am from Ghana. It's Nefi. Stay at home in Isikosa, you say, Sala Ekaya, and Elisa Tuswa in Cape Town, South Africa. In the West in Banda, did you go to Malawi? Did you find out what you said? No, it is Samari, it is this, my own yard, my den, that coronavirus. But Kala Nyumba, what's the end? The end. Kala Nyumba, it is this, and I'm going to do this, and Hello, my name is Michael. I'm from Sierra Leone originally, uh, based in London. Um, stay safe means look after yourself. Stay at home in my language. Sidona house. Don't go anywhere. Hi, this is Boye from Niger State, Nigeria, saying, Fe du shimbo, yejebo. Ibanye kene munu. Ana ma yonde banye. Nolo no no no. Nolunu no do. Ki kuku a fecha nata. Oke me korita. Mm mm. Ku fecha. Afa mu bozi yo meji ofo. Ipo mi jele mwanya ga maza geke ne mu. Nazivam shi magda. Zostan v domu. Ipo on bezpiecne. Mi fambul de unakushe u. Na minem adewali showers. Ade salon. Do you have a little bit of a house for tap the corona and spread one? On a thank you. I'm Fungai Shimamorobe from Zimbabwe. Hello, um, this is Emna from Tunisia, and I want to say please stay home. Shit, Derek. So to get featured on Plus TV Africa, DSTV channel 408, send us a video via WhatsApp telling us how um, you say stay at home in your language. Send it via WhatsApp to 090-6000-5719. 090-6000-5719. Nine. I definitely want to know how they say stay at home in your language. How do they say stay at home in your language? I don't know how to speak it. How about you? Don't. don't. I don't know. Try your but don't disgrace us. Oh, um, Ejoko. <laughs> Ejoko. <laughs> Ejoko. How about you? The Abia lady said no, it. No, no, just say I, it I, I can't repeat it. She killed it. You so can't I'm from Abia Ibo State. Well. Why can't I speak Ibo? Okay, I'm not repeating it. No. Can we move on? Let's move on then. Okay, so Bribo calls out artists who don't perform in Nigeria but wins award in the country. He said, and I quote, any artist popping elsewhere should go there and get awards. Those who don't play in a certain league don't get decorated there. One concert a year in Lagos and your artist of the year. Crap. 70% of your work must be here yearly to qualify for important awards. End of quote. 
Why are you rolling drum? Because me, I don't understand what's important and what we have first. That's one. Secondly, who is he talking about? No, he's just talking generally. And I no, think I was very specific. He said somebody. I okay. He said somebody. I feel like this is time. an Asha shade. I don't know, but how many awards do they really? No, they all they all give one concert a year. Even Davido gives one concert a year. Whiskey gives one concert a year. Bono Boy gives one concert a year. And most of them. I don't think they mean. I don't think he means like. I don't think he means like like Davido concert too. I'm saying I. I okay, I don't know. What I, what I got was that he, she performed, or he, I don't know who he's talking about, that that person performed one time in Nigeria. I don't mm -hmm. think it's like about them leading yeah. the, like... Asha didn't get Artist of the Year. I don't know if it's Asha. I don't know So who is. who is he talking about? Which I think he's just talking gen. If you ask me, mm -hmm. I think he's talking generally. Well, if he's talking like, generally, we are in a country and we are in this world and he's in Nigeria and he has to be talking from somewhere. So if we want to dissect his um, conversation right now, who is he talking about? There are a lot of people on that just table. On right. some, like who? There are a lot of people. Like I just mentioned name, Whiskey, Bonobo, David No, Doe. they're not. Based on what he's saying, he's not talking about you headlining a show. There are so many um, events and What about Asha shows. that you mentioned? <coughs> Asha, how many events does she perform in No, but has she won any awards? That which is why I mentioned it myself. I'm like, mm. she hasn't, she doesn't really win awards in Nigeria like that. I mean, so even if she performs once a year, I've not seen her in any hip TV awards. I've not seen her that much in any Sound City awards. Those are the two major um, music awards we have from here. So I mean, I'm not I don't sure know. What I don't know everyone about. in the um, industry, so I'm not trying to figure out who he's talking about. But I think the message in itself is still correct. There is something of, <clears throat> and it, it it doesn't just level out the playing field if you are giving the same. Yeah, giving awards in Nigeria if you're not in Nigeria. We have a lot of infrastructural problems, mm -hmm. um, and that already gives you like an edge. I remember we were talking about Kylie Jenner, whatever. I don't really subscribe to the idea that I'm going to throw away your privilege, no matter how successful you've been no matter how hardworking you have been, there's still privilege and it's a thing. So if you, if you um, do your music abroad, like you should, like you say you, you're, you're, first of all, you're even raised abroad. Your banking system is abroad. The way you're pushing your music is abroad. Your, your engineering software, mm -hmm. making the music behind the scenes mm -hmm. is also abroad with better qualities. Marketing is abroad, and they come out with a Nigerian award mm -hmm. in re in, um, against somebody who was born and raised here, limited, Works, yeah. truly limited to the Nigerian market. Um, um, market. Then I think that that is definitely unfair. And he mm -hmm. also said that, had, I don't know how you calculate streams from platforms that are not even based in Nigeria. And then understand? they add it to that. And then they add it to that and they say, oh, he has um, 20 million streams and all of that. And it's totally correct. How with many this streams are Nigerian or African based? How many streaming platforms are owned by Nigerians or Africans? I think what he's... Anyway, okay, we need okay. to go. Maybe we'll have this conversation more in the next episode of Tea Time this afternoon. But that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, we want Want to know how you say stay at home in your language so send your video via whatsapp to 090-6000-5719 my thank you as always we go to my co-anchors ife omai and ife oluwa shoke and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is elsie godwin do stay home and please stay safe